Shut up, baby doggy. How are you? How are you, tiny dog? How are you? Oh, you're so cute. Hi. Oh, what is going on, guys? How the hell are you doing? It's been a minute. Pepe has been out of town for this whole month so far. Sorry we haven't been able, besides the live video, we haven't put out a video. Just been very busy. Alex has been out of town for the last 10 days. So he's really putting a little damper on things. But I got my boy back. So we're gonna start pumping out some videos for the rest of the month, because we got some catching up to do. So I hope you guys are ready for the ride, because we got a lot of cool things planned this week. Sorry, my lens is super cold, keeps fogging up on you guys. But anyways, this week we got all sorts of fun things happening. I got my boy Randy at the shop now, so we're gonna start making some tattoo videos. We're getting the shop a little bit more video friendly because there's a lot of little things at the shop that are little triggers and flags and stuff that I can't really put on the internet. We're getting all that situated. Um, we got Brian Barcheck. Brian's coming to the house at the end of the week. Uh, I think he's doing something with Chandler too, so that's going to be really exciting. So we're going to be getting the house ready for Brian to come over here and see all the animals and the snakes and iguanas and all that stuff. Uh, we're doing some shop tank videos, the reef tank at the shop. We're going to be doing an update of that in the next couple days. I'm actually taking the eels out because they're just like, they're destroying, the, not destroying the tank, but they're just too much for that tank now. They're getting bigger, their bio load is crazy, so we're going to go more reef on the shop tank. So I can get clean. I'm going to explain all that in that video. I'm not going to waste my time explaining it in this one. But we're going to have, we have a lot of stuff to do this week. And it's going to be really fun. And another huge announcement. Khaleesi. Hey, baby. How are you? Richard. What are those your iguanas? All right, so check this out. How freaking awesome is this? You see that hole right there? Right there? Khaleesi. She was in it this morning when I just came out here just a second ago, but uh, I came out here so she kind of came out of her hole. But, oh, maybe she'll go back in it right now. So Khaleesi is digging a nest right now. Now you see that hole right there in the corner? It goes very deep. It almost goes outside of the cage, actually. So she is going to be laying eggs very, very shortly. So hopefully in the next, like, dude, hopefully in the next, like, day or two, Normally when she does this, it's normally within five days when she starts digging. Within five days she lays her eggs. So, baby Khalees. Are you ready to give daddy some eggs? Oh, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have baby Khaleesis. I can't freaking wait. Drogo, you're gonna be a dad, bro. You excited? Oh, you're so excited, man. They're doing great. I'm so happy I got these dudes back. Everybody's killing it out here. Oh, who the heck is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 No pictures, please. No You're pictures, back. please. I'm back. Dude, it's cracking, bro. Glad to be back. I'm glad, glad you're back, back, too. Time to get to work, bro. Yes, sir. All right, so, today is Mamba time. The main focus of this video today is mites. Yes, mites. It sucks. But the other day, I noticed, maybe like three days ago, I noticed that I was in here looking at my green mamba that I got from Dingo, and I noticed that a lot of times when snakes have mites, you'll find them on the orbital sockets, okay? So around their eyeballs, all right, on the outside of their orbitals, that is where they are mainly most congested, that and their cloaca, okay? So... Those are the two first spots that they, they kind of, they tend to stick to. So I was looking at him the other day and I noticed there was a little mite right by his eyeball. And I was like, crap, that looks like a freaking mite. I don't know how the hell he got it. I didn't see on any other snakes yet until today. Another way to find out if you have mites, a lot of the times when snakes are drinking in their water bowls and they have mites on their face, they'll completely submerge their faces and the mites you know, submerging mites in water drowns them, they come off, and then they stay in the water bowl. So telltale signs for mites inside of your cages is if there's mites in your water bowl. That is always like the go-to around the orbitals and in your water bowls. Now, just, just coming in here today, yesterday I didn't notice any, but today I even noticed that in this cage, 
it looks like there's a couple little mites floating on top here. So I'm gonna go ahead. So what we have to do, it sucks. It's the worst, I hate mites. It's just like, it's terrible. They, they pester your animals, they, they can transfer diseases, they do a lot of bad things. They irritate your snakes, they put them on edge, they make them not, they, they're just very uncomfortable. So, what we have to do though, is we have to take them out of their cages, take everything out of their cages because there could be mite eggs and larvae and all sorts of stuff all in their hide boxes and their decorations and all that stuff. You can see these plants died because I sprayed them with mite spray the other day just to kind of start it all, kill the plants, whatever, $5 plants, I can get some more. But now we have to take everything out. We're gonna change the substrate. We're gonna take all these plants out. We're gonna change the substrate to paper towels. That way, every day for the next four or five days, I can come in here, spray down the cage with water and spray them down with mite kill. Oh my God. So back in the day for mite kill, so back in the day for mite kill at Underground Reptiles, what we used to do is we used to take a water bottle, we would put some dial antibacterial soap in it, and then we would take Frontline. Frontline is what they use for cats and dogs for like fleas and ticks and stuff like that. So we would take some Frontline, 10 squirts into a bottle, shake it up. That was our mite kill. That's what we did back in the day. This stuff also works great. You go to Walgreens or CVS or any drugstore, wherever the hell you guys live. Dude, lice spray. Lice, bed bugs, dust mites. This stuff right here, honestly, I think works better than Frontline. And you can buy it right at CVS or Walgreens. So this is what I like to use nowadays. I feel like this works the absolute best. Not only this, but for precautionary reasons, just things that you can do to avoid mites, um, at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever it is, any home improvement place, they have those yellow pest strips, okay? The yellow pest strip, you take it, you chop it up into a bunch of pieces, and you can even put a little pest strip in each one of your cages. Totally safe for your animals. I've never had any animal issues with it. I've never had anything bad happen to the animals with the pest strips. I know a lot of people are like, don't put pest strips in your cage. You can. It's great. We've done it. I've done it my entire career. Never had a problem with it. So that is something that you could do to kind of prevent everything from happening. But we're in this position today. So let's uh, start doing this. I'm going to get his water bowl out first. All right, so you can see, let's try to grab a couple out of here. Now, they're tiny. Oh, God, of course, they're just going to like, they're just going to like disintegrate as soon as I touch them because they're so tiny and fragile. But see? All right, so see that tiny little speck right there? That is a snake mite. And there's a bunch of them in here. There's at least a couple dozen of them in here. Try to get a couple more out. Not good, man. Now, they're like ticks and stuff too, so they will fill up with blood. They'll get darker when they're, when they're fresh out, when they're larva still. Yeah, you can even see in the bottom of the water bowl, there's a whole bunch of them. There's like 20 of them in the water bowl. Not freaking good, man. So, Another thing that you want to do when you're treating mites is you always take the water bowls out of the cages because if you spray mite kill in the cage, get mite kill in the water, your snakes are going to drink the water that has mite kill in it. It's not good for anybody. So we're going to put this aside. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take both of these mambas out of the cage. I'm going to put them in the trash bin right here. First, we're going to clean this thing up because it's disgusting. So we're going to clean out this trash can, get both of these snakes out of here, put them in the bin. We're going to soak the bin down with mite spray also. And then we're going to clean out these cages. We're probably going to put paper towels in just this cage, and then I'm going to put both of the mamas in one cage for now and treat them both together because that is probably the easiest way to do it. Another thing that I'm going to probably do today that I do not want to do, but just for precautionary reasons, Batman and Robin, I noticed in their water bowl, there's a couple mites in their water bowl also, which absolutely sucks. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all the substrate out of Batman and Robin's cage as well, probably put newspaper down on the bottom so that way they have something to stay on, and then we're going to soak that cage down as well. This really sucks, but thankfully... Everything is in sections in this room, so it's kind of hard. They can go to all of these cages, but hopefully right now they're just in these two cages, so all I have really have to do is treat these. I'm going to check the rest of the cages and make sure nobody, nobody else has mites as well. So let's get this garbage can cleaned up, and let's get these snakes out of the cage. Let's do this the safe way. So we're going to go in here. 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out all these obstacles that I have in here that he could possibly wrap himself around when I'm trying to get him out of the cage. Oops, I'm dropping things. Alright, so that's that. There's that. Let's go over here. Grab the plant. Plants are freaking dead now. Gotta get new ones. Alright. Bada bing, bada boom. Cool. Alright, so now, of course, he's gonna be all wiry today. Let's uh, make sure we got the trash bin right there. He's good to go. Let's see. Now, get him out nice and safely. There we go. Come on. Whew. All right. Now he's in this. Not ideal. Get this out of here. There we go. Here is our mamba. All right. Little green mamba that I got from Dingo. They're doing great, they're eating great, but they have mites, which is not good, right? You got mites, bro? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna take care of you, okay? So sick. All right, so let's go get him in the bucket. There's one of them. So now I'm gonna put the lid on here. Actually, I'm gonna give him a little spray real quick. He's not gonna like this very much. So, got the trash can nice and cleaned. Now we're just gonna go in here. Yeah, see, he does not like that at all. I'm sorry, man. This is what we gotta do. Give you a little dose of that. Let him chill in there. Let the vapor. I don't want this to turn into a gas chamber for him. So we're gonna get those vapors out a little bit like that. All right, he's good. Awesome. So there's number one. So now let's take out number two. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on this guy. So we're gonna go in here. We're going to pull out the plants that are gonna be a hard as hell to get out. Boom, boom, boom. Hide box right there. And there's our little mamba right here. This is the female, I think. She's the smaller one. There's my snake hook. Okay, so this is the green. Little tiny green one. She's a little smaller than the male. Very beautiful, super bright green. Amazing snake. Don't stay away from my hand, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, Alex, can you open up the trash can? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. I have the mamba. Let me steep. Okay, let's get out of the trash can. All right, so now we got both mambas in the trash can. We are going to just give them a little bit more mite kill. Soak them nicely. Now you could tell that's the female, the smaller, lighter green one. And then that's my male, the darker, larger one. So I'm not really worried about being able to tell them apart because they are pretty, pretty easy. So we got them in there, they're soaking with mite kill. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty out both of these cages, get the substrate completely out, wipe them down with Chlorohex, and then we're gonna reset them up and I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a second. Super clean, took all the substrate out, all the decorations out, sprayed everything down with Chlorohex, wiped down every inch of this cage. Mites are very, very small. They can crawl up here, they can lay their eggs up here, they can, you know what I mean? You want to wipe down absolutely everything just to make sure there is no remnants of them at all. That is a piece of dirt, not a mite. All right, cool. So now what I'm going to do is we're just going to take the mite kill. We're going to go ahead and we're going to spray everything. We're going to literally soak this whole cage in mite kill. Like that. Now... I was going to put newspaper in this cage, but I want to be able to see the mites that are dying and I want to be able to come in here and make sure that everything is working properly and these mites are not crawling around alive and they're actually being killed by the spray. So I'm going to take white paper towels, put that down because it'll be a lot easier to see these black mites that are going to die on the white, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, now we're going to soak this down 
as well. Get this nice and soaked. Now, like I said before, when you're treating a cage with mite spray, you don't want to put a water bowl in there because then the mite spray is going to get in the water bowl, mess your snakes up, the snakes drink it. I mean, I'm sure it's not going to be too bad. I haven't, I've never had any problems with mite kill hurting an animal, but I just want to play things on the safe side. So this is all nice and soaked down. Now we're just going to, we're going to put a couple little things in it. Like I'm going to spray down that hide box for them. I'm going to put a hide box in there just so they have a little bit of security. And then that is it. Yes, I know. It's a very bare minimum. They don't have anything to climb on right now. They don't have, they're not going to have their vines and all that other stuff. But right now, this is going to be, we are trying to treat the mites before anything. So even though it's going to be very, a little bit uncomfortable for them, not a natural setup like we normally do, but this is what, this is what we have to do. Look how beautiful this setup is. It's so natural, just like where they're from in Africa. You know, lots of trees and bushes and places to hide and whatnot. No, I'm just kidding. It looks crap, but I will be able to easily monitor these snakes with this cage like this now, which is number one. So now let's go back into my handy dandy trash can with my mammas in it. Let's see how they're doing in here. All right, so let's make sure everything is nice and safe. All right, so. Over here and here. Let's go ahead and grab this mail. Boom, boom, boom. Nice and slow and steady. You don't want to freak these guys out because then they go really fast and they lose their freaking minds. Look how cool this fucking snake is, though. What a beautiful animal. Let's go this way. Thank you. Go in your cage. Thank you, sir. Little miss. You as well. Beautiful animal. Go in the cage. Thank you. Very nicely. Cool. So that is it. Now, I'm trying to look on them. It's not a bad mite infestation either. Because, like, dude, I've had instances where, like, dude, they are literally crawling with mites. So it's not as bad, but I definitely want to treat it before it does get bad. If I didn't notice that there was a mite or two in the water bowl the other day, they could have just keep multiplying. And then next thing you know it, I have a mite infestation in my snake room and then all my snakes have mites, which would be absolutely, dude, I don't know if anybody out there has had a mite issue before, but dude, it sucks. When your whole collection, especially if you have a whole room full of snakes, your whole collection gets mites, it's bad, bad, bad. So now we got these guys situated. So now we're going to get Batman and Robin. I'm going to clean out this garbage can. I'm going to clean out this other bin. We're going to take them out. We're going to examine them, make sure they're not covered in mites. It doesn't look like they are. There's only a couple in their water bowl. I don't want to take any chances. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take them out. We're going to treat them as well just to make sure everybody stays nice and kosher. So let's get that done. Now is Batman and Robin time. Just to be on the 100% safe side, I see a couple in their water bowls, and I don't see any actually on their heads, which is good. You know, sometimes you can see them crawling around on them. I don't really see them on her face at all. I'm trying to get a little close, but she looks like she's okay. But we're not going to take any chances because I don't want any of that to happen. I don't see any on her at all, which is great. So we're gonna take her, we're gonna put her in the bin, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Obviously I cleaned this bin out very, very well. I sprayed it down with Chlorhex and Mike Kill before I put her in it, obviously. So what we're gonna do, I'm sorry, sweetheart, you're not gonna like this too much, but we're just gonna spray her down with a little bit of mite spray. Just like that. Okay. Let that sit. Get that vapor out of there. I know, baby, you don't like it very much. I know, baby. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to take care of you. Alright, so we'll put her aside. Now let's get Batman out. Make sure he is doing okay. Hello, sir. How are you? Can you please move your head? Thank you. Go this way. All right. Appreciate it. Now I can go in here and get him out nice and safely. Make sure my dude doesn't 
Now they're very, it's very hard to see on these guys because they're so dark. So, you know, it's not like a bright green mamba where I can easily see where the mites are on his head. So I'm trying to just finagle him so they can see on his head a little tiny bit. Yeah, I don't really see anything, so. You know, hopefully it's not bad on them. It's not bad on the mambas either, but I don't want to take any chances. So we're gonna take him, put him in there, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with her, is I'm just gonna give him a very light little spray. Hey bro. I know you guys are like watching the way that I handle these rattlesnakes. You're like, oh my god, he's just grabbing them by the head like that and just moving them around. Yeah, I know, it's crazy, right? Not something you want to do with a normal rattlesnake. But these are my animals, this is my house, this is how I handle things. So, now, let's check out their water bowl. Now this is the only reason why I'm treating them, is because in the water bowl, yeah, see there is a couple little, a couple little round guys. There's definitely a couple little mites in this water bowl. It's for sure. They're small, they're not gigantic. So they're definitely not like very old. Whatever it is, is definitely like a new, a new thing from the Mambas. So we're not gonna take any chances. We're gonna take everything out. As much as I don't wanna take all the substrate out of this cage because it's a pain in the ass, that's what we have to do. Cause I have to make sure these snakes don't get mites because that is a big, big no-no. So let's, uh, let's pull this glass out, clean this cage out, and then we'll put them back in there. All righty then. All righty then. All right, so Batman is first. Hey, dude. Covered in mite kill. I know, bro. I'm so sorry I had to spray you down with that stuff. I didn't really want to do it, but... I need, to, I need to keep you clean. I need to make sure you don't have mites and you're nice and a healthy snake, okay? You're my baby. Let's go in here. Put him on the... See, now I put newspaper down in the cage. It's a lot less stuff for mites to lay their eggs in and stuff and reproduce. We definitely don't want them reproducing or spreading even more than they already have. We have a very, very, very light mite infestation. So we want to keep it at that. We do not want it to become a crazy problem. So that's why for the next few days, five or six days, every single day I'm gonna keep on top of these guys and make sure that they stay soaked, everybody gets treated. Batman, what are you doing, bro? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Robin. Hello, sweetheart. He's rattling. He's like, Dad, get me out of this trash can. Don't want to be in here. Put you with your boyfriend. Excuse me. Sir. Excuse me, sir. Please. Thank you. Just like that. No water bowl. Super clean. Soak down the cage and might kill. We're looking good. Thankfully. So Beetlejuice and the two female albinos, I looked at them very carefully. There's no mites in the water bowls. They're yellow and they're very light colored. So obviously finding mites on them is gonna be very easy compared to these darker rattlesnakes. So I thoroughly inspected all of them. They're totally fine. There's nothing up here, so we're good to go. So hopefully the only two cages that did have mites in them are the mambas and my rattlesnakes, which weren't even bad. That was like maybe like five, 10, maybe. So. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we resolve this very fast. Are you pooping in your cage already? Of course, it's, it's crazy. As soon as I clean the cages, they like no, and they're like, all right, let's poop. Look, Batman's like, yo, I'm gonna let one out. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for cleaning my cage, and I'm gonna destroy it. So that is it, guys. Taking care of this mite problem. Hopefully this is resolved fast. It's the worst, having mites in your cages Dude, it's such a pain in the ass. Yeah, no fun. It's not fun at all. <clears throat> so, till next time, guys. We got other fun things to do. Next video that's coming out is a Taruk update, okay? So stay tuned. I'm going to the pet store. 
I'm gonna get a bunch of toys for her, bring Justin some new food for her, all that. We're gonna go say hi to Madison. Madison's been taking care of Taruk over there. Taruk absolutely loves her. She's crawling all over her and playing with her and letting her pet. Dude, it's absolutely fantastic. Taruk is very, very, very happy where she's at right now. So next episode is gonna be a little Taruk update for you guys. We're gonna go play with her and say hi. And then uh, we got a bunch of other cool stuff going on. We got the eel episode. We got Brian coming over. We're going to redo the monitor cages. We got Khaleesi laying eggs. Dude, we got a lot of cool stuff coming on. So stay tuned, guys. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Leave a comment. Make sure you like the video. Till next time, guys. You guys rock. See you later. Bye-bye then.